Hello friends and welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Basics tutorial series. In this series of videos, I'm going to be taking you through start to finish how to make your first edit using DaVinci Resolve. Now if you're here, you probably know what DaVinci Resolve is, so I'm not going to try to sell you on it, but let me just say it is one of the best free programs out there for video editing. It's among the top four video editors used professionally, but the free version of it is fully featured and I've been using it for the last two years editing professionally and I've had no issues with it. It does everything I needed to do. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Tutorial. First thing we need to do is open up the program. Let's go ahead and do that. When you open up DaVinci Resolve, it's going to have this uh, loading screen. It'll load for a few seconds. And then it's going to open up what's called the Project Manager here. And this is kind of like the file explorer or finder if you're on a Mac of all of your projects. So you can see I have a lot of different projects in here. I have folders. You can organize things. We're not going to get into that too much. But what we want to do is come down here to where it says New Project. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call this Rainy Day. Okay. So we're gonna, and that's gonna create a project and open up the program. So when you first open up DaVinci Resolve, it's going to open on what's called the cut page. Let's first really quick go over the different pages that are here in Resolve and sort of what they each do. I'm not gonna get into any details except the ones we really need to pay attention to, but basically there's like several different uh, distinct softwares that are all in the one program here, which is pretty neat. Um, it's very useful, and if you know how to use it, it's it's definitely very handy. Uh, we're not gonna get into all the details because it does get very complex having all these different programs in one. But let's go over real quick. Here at the bottom of the screen, on this bottom tab, we have have our media page, we have our cut page, which is what we're on right now, we have our edit page, and then fusion, color, fairlight, which is like uh, audio effects, and then the deliver page. The only two pages we're going to even think about are the edit page and the deliver page. So let's click over to the edit page right now, just click on it, single click. And let's quickly explain a little bit of what we see here. You'll understand it more as I get into it, but I just want to give you a very basic overview before we get started. So up here in the upper left, you have a, what's called the media pool. And this is just like we had the file explorer of the projects. This is like the file explorer or finder of your media that you edit with. So anytime you're going to edit something into a video, it has to first come into here and then you can uh, find it in here and then move it into your, your editing space. So you're going to import media into here to work with. Down here we have the effects library, and this is where you're going to have your video transitions and text and things like that. This area here um, is where you'll actually be viewing your footage. We'll get into this a little bit later. Over here on the right is what's called the inspector. And I want to point out real quick here, if your screen looks a little bit different from mine, uh, it could be because some of these different windows are open or closed. And so in Resolve, a lot of a uh, pretty standard thing you'll see is that when you see something uh, highlighted in white like this up in the upper right hand corner where it says inspector, um, that generally means that it's activated or open. And so the inspector is open right now. Uh, you can close it and that you see that changed our screen a little bit. So if you have a screen that looks like this, it could be because your inspector is closed. And so now it's open, highlighted in white, and closed, it's grayed out. Same thing with your media pool. Uh, you can close that and it gives like a full screen or full uh, top to bottom effects library um, where you can open it up. Same thing with the effects library. So, uh, you know, highlighted in white, that means it's activated. And when it's grayed out, that means that it is closed. Moving down here to the center of the screen, it's in the center for a reason because this is where the meat and potatoes of your editing takes place. This is the timeline, the space right here. And as we import some clips, we'll begin to see what we do in the timeline, but that's where all of your edits and your cutting things up and everything is gonna take place. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is import our media into the media pool. So the video clips, any pictures or audio clips we wanna use, you need to go ahead and import them now. So I'm gonna open up File Explorer and select the clips I want to import. So these ones right here, I've got several video clips I wanna use. Let's drag and drop those in. Now we see this little window pop up. Now, uh, a lot of times when windows pop up, it tends to scare people. And you know, it's, it's a good idea to pay attention to, to windows that pop up, but you don't need to be scared about this. Really, all this is saying is that your project settings are different from the settings of the video you're importing. Um, we won't get into all the details of that right now, uh, but basically you can hit this change button right here that's highlighted in red. And nine times out of 10, that's gonna work out perfectly for you. Okay, so now in the media pool here, you can see we have our videos. And so um, we can kind of scrub over them and uh, kind of get an idea of what's in the video. You can see what's going on there, which is pretty handy. If these videos, uh, these thumbnails are too big or too small, you can adjust the size here, which is pretty handy. If you want to view them and not just scrub over them like this, you can double click on it. And now it pulls it up in this viewer right here. So you see we have these two windows. Uh, one on the left here and one on the right. The one on the left here is what's called the source viewer. And if I hit the space bar, I can play through this just like a typical video player. So you can play here. 
it is a rainy dreary day today you can skip along it, just like you would in uh, any video player just drag this back and forth and uh, basically you can you can watch all of your media right here so hit the spacebar to pause it um, I can double click on click on any of these uh, clips and watch them through um, which is you know super handy so basically we're watching these clips just like we could in File Explorer, uh, but we're inside of Resolve now. Where it starts to get a little different is when I put these clips down in the timelines. I'm gonna click on this first one here, double click on it, and now I'm going to simply click and drag down into the timeline, okay? So now we have a clip in the timeline here. Now real quick, I wanna, I'm wanna i noticing something that I wanna change, and that is I don't see my waveform on my audio clip. So this top track here represents the video, and this bottom track represents the audio that is linked to that video, okay? And what I see is at the top one, I can kinda see these little thumbnails of, of me in the, in the uh, picture, but I can't see my audio. So what I wanna do is click right here and hover over this line uh, with my mouse, and I'm gonna click and drag it open until I can now start to see my audio waveform here, which is going to be really helpful uh, for comfortable editing. So first of all, let's go over a couple of things here that you need to be aware of in the timeline. First of all, this, this red uh, little line here, this is called your playhead, and you can drag this around. This is kind of like your, you know, your, your line we were dragging back and forth, or you typically do in a video player you might be familiar with. Um, and so you can place this at different points, and you can hit the space bar to play, just like we were doing earlier. It is a rainy, dreary day today and drag back and forth. Um, so that's how you're gonna kinda get around and play at different points on your video clip. You can see it's super handy to see those waveforms and where they are located in the video so that you can kinda line up and start playing at particular points. A couple things I wanna go over about timeline navigation before we get in too deep here. Uh, right here on the toolbar, which is what this area is right here, uh, you'll see you have a slider right here that you can zoom in and out on your timeline. And that is you know, the very basic way you can do it. It's good to know where this is, but honestly, I never use that slider. I use the keyboard shortcut and mouse wheel combination. So you're gonna hold down the Alt key and zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Okay, so this is this is the way you gotta do it. Just never mind that slider. It's good to know where it is, but this is how you wanna be navigating your timeline. Now, the other way that you can uh, navigate is uh, side to side. Uh, so as you can see, you know, time is represented here on the horizontal dimension. So um, you have 18 seconds there, 36 seconds, 54 seconds, and you know, those numbers change a little bit as you zoom in. Uh, but to, to go back and forth and further down the line on your timeline, you're gonna hold down the mouse wheel and slide left and right, okay? So that makes sense. We're holding down the scroll wheel on the mouse and sliding back and forth. So now let's get into some actual editing here in the timeline. This is good stuff here. So I already know actually that this first section here um, really didn't go well. It was kind of a, a take one, and this is the, the good take here. So what I want to do is, is cut off that beginning part because I don't like it at all. So what I'm going to do is come to the beginning here and hover my mouse over the, the uh, beginning part of the video. You can see a little handle appears, and I'm just going to simply click and drag that like this. And as you can see, I'm just taking out all of that material up until the playhead right here. At this point now what I'm going to do is simply click on this video and drag it back to the beginning. So now you can see we've cut off the beginning and it starts right at where the good take begins. It is a rainy dreary day today which means we're getting some much needed moisture which is always a good thing. Now what you'll notice here is that our video is now playing up here on the right side. And the reason for that is this is the timeline viewer. So this uh, window over here is the source monitor and that's where we view all the clips that are in our media pool here. And once you bring a clip down into the timeline, now everything that you view in the timeline is viewed on this on this player up here. So basically the source monitor is where you view your unedited footage and the timeline viewer is where you view your final edit and basically the, the finished product after you've done all your effects and, and transitions and added all your music and everything like that. So there's some dead space at the end of this clip as well after I finish talking. Let's play through it real quick. It also means we're staying inside doing some editing. And today I want to show you guys how to get started in video editing with DaVinci Resolve. So I want to cut off this dead space at the end and I'm going to do it in the very same way. I'm going to come to the end of the clip and I see this little handle appear right there. I'm going to click and drag back to the end of where I want the video to be. DaVinci Resolve. That's a little bit, a little bit cut short, a little bit too much. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, holding Alt on the keyboard and scrolling with my mouse, and I'm going to just extend this just a little bit more. Benchy Resolve. I think that looks really good. Now let's go ahead and bring in another clip here and attach it on the end. This next clip is uh, this one right here. Let's double click on it to bring it up in the source viewer. I'm going to bring this playhead to the beginning. 
I hit the space bar so we can play through it. So pretty basic, just a, a kind of a video clip of the rainy day. So let's go ahead and click and drag and bring this down into the timeline again. Same thing here, I really don't like this kind of dead space at the beginning, so I want to get rid of it. So to do that, I'm actually going to use the blade tool this time, because there's a lot of ways to do the same thing inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to show you one of those ways right now, and that's using the blade tool. So here on the toolbar, we have some different tools, and the important one here to notice is the selection tool right here, and the blade tool right here. And, you know, again, just like with zooming in, you can come up here and you can click on these to access these tools. Um, but what I use more often than not is the keyboard shortcut, which for the blade tool, if we're on the default selection tool here, for the blade tool, you hit the B key, and now we are in the blade tool. And then to go back to the selection tool, hit the A key, and we're back in selection mode. So with the blade tool selected, hitting the B key, I'm going to come down here to where my playhead is. It's kind of about where I want to cut the video. I'm just going to simply click on the video, and you can see, if I move my playhead now, we have, a, we have a split there. If we go back to the selection tool, hitting the A key, now you can see I can actually pull this out, I can move it around. So now these are completely distinct clips. I can move this one around, I can move this one around, I can shorten them both irrespective of each other, and so they're completely separate clips now. So now I'm going to come to the end of this video, about right there where it kind of stops the pan, I'm going to... I think I'm going to cut it right there. So I'm going to go back to my blade tool by hitting the B key on the keyboard. And I'm going to click on the video right there. So we want to get rid of this video clip now. So I'm going to go to my selection tool again by hitting the A key on the keyboard. I'm going to select it, highlight it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to come up to the command cut. And you can hit that and now it has been deleted. So now that video clip is gone, it's deleted, and we're thrilled about that. But I actually want to show you some different ways to do that using keyboard shortcuts, which are going to save you so much time. And honestly, just they just make so much sense. So first of all, let's undo that cut by hitting Control Z on the keyboard, Command Z if you're on a Mac. And we're here on the selection tool, and we're going to select this, and instead of right clicking on it and going up to cut, instead of doing that, I am simply going to hit the backspace key. And it's been deleted now. That is terrific. Now, that's gone, we hit the backspace key to get rid of it, and now we can just slide this back until it lines up with the end of our previous clip. Let's play through these and make sure everything's good. DaVinci Resolve. And there you go, we have successfully completed our first edit. So the blade tool is super handy. You can cut up anything. You don't even have to cut right where the playhead is. You can cut anywhere just simply by clicking and then you can go back to your selection tool, you can move these around, you can do all sorts of different things with them, and it's just, it's super easy just to cut up clips and then move them around however you need to. Now using Control Z, let's undo all of this real quick, because I want to show you a different way to delete clips that can save you even more time. So go back to before we made any cuts here, let's go ahead and come here, go to our blade tool, cut off this beginning part, and now, let me show you real quick, so we can click, highlight this with our selection tool, and if I hit the backspace key, you see we leave a space here. So now this clip comes to an end, and then it's a second before the next clip starts. So to get rid of that, we could click and drag this back. That's pretty nice. Let's undo that real quick. But we could cut out the middleman by simply highlighting this clip right here that we cut, right-clicking on it, and going up to Ripple Cut. And a Ripple Cut, if we click on this, you can see it moves this video clip back and lines it up with the previous clip without having to also click and drag the clip back into place. And again, there's a keyboard shortcut for this as well. If we simply click on this clip, hit the delete key, and it ripples the rest of the timeline back into place. If we had a bunch of clips downstream on the timeline, we could hit that delete key and it would ripple everything back into place. You can see how useful that would be instead of having to select everything and slide it back a few seconds. So we went over a couple of editing things here in the timeline for some very simple edits. First of all, we have the B key, which takes us to the blade tool, we can cut some things up, go back to the selection tool with the A key, and then we can select this, we can get rid of it with the backspace key, or if, and if we don't want to do that, we can undo that with control Z. We can click on this, we can actually hit the delete key and ripple delete the rest of the timeline. So there you go, that concludes the first episode in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial series. In the next video in this series, I'm going to show you some further techniques for editing here in the timeline as we add some video transitions and also some text to our video. So stay tuned for that, I'll see you guys there.